I'm Rachel Penny, and I'm one of the front of house managers, which means that I work with a team of ushers to welcome everyone to the theatre. You are coming to Young People's Theatre to see a play. This is a special trip because you get to see a play at a professional theatre. You might feel excited or nervous because this is a new experience. It's not something you get to do every day. Young People's Theatre, or YPT, is located downtown in an old building in a neighborhood called St. Lawrence. YPT is located at the corner of Frederick Street and Front Street, a busy street with lots of cars, buses, and people walking. There are different ways to get to YPT. You might be taking a school bus with your teacher and classmates. You might be coming with your family. You might walk, drive, or take the TTC to get to the theater. When you arrive, you might see the blue and white signs on the theater that say Young People's Theater. An usher might greet you and ask you to wait outside for a few minutes before you head in. You will enter the building through big glass doors. There is a lot to see in the theater. Old props, costumes, and set pieces are displayed in windows, cases, and on the walls. When you go inside, you will see a set of windows. This is the box office, and these are some of the sales associates. If you are coming with your parent or teacher, they will speak to the sales associates to let them know how many people are in your group. On your right, you will see stairs leading up. You will be asked to line up in front of these stairs. You might be asked to wait for a few minutes before you head up. You will need to try to stay in line while you wait. There will be other people arriving, so it might be crowded and noisy while you wait. The front of house manager will say hello and give you some information and reminders of rules that people follow in the theater, so that everyone is safe and can enjoy the play together. An usher will then lead you up to the theater. You will walk up the stairs or you may take the elevator. You will see a sign outside the theater with doors on either side. An usher will lead you through one of these doors into the theater and show you where you will be sitting for the play. You will sit in the orchestra, mezzanine, or balcony. If you are sitting in the balcony, you will walk up a separate staircase. also lead to the studio theater where we sometimes have plays. If you need to use the washroom, you can ask a teacher, parent, or someone who works in the theater. They will help you find the washroom. They are located in the hallway outside the theater. These signs will tell you which washroom to use. The washrooms at YPT use automated flushing systems, taps, and dryers. These sometimes turn on when people aren't expecting them, and this can be surprising. The dryer is also very loud. Even though it's loud, and you might be surprised, you can remember that you are safe, and nothing in the washroom can hurt you. While you are waiting in your seat, other people will arrive and sit down beside or behind you. There are over 450 seats in the theater, so it will become noisy when people come in. This sometimes takes a long time. While you are waiting, you will need to try to be patient and calm and try to stay in your seat. You may feel excited, bored, nervous, or scared. This is a good time to look around the theater. You might notice the other audience members, the lights, the music, or the stage. If you feel nervous or scared, you can cover or close your eyes, cover your ears or wear headphones, or use a fidget tool. You can also take a break outside the theater. It's okay if you need to take a break outside the theater before the show starts or while it's going on. You will need to ask a teacher or a parent. They can come with you and you can walk around in the lobby. You can take a short break or a long break. 
You might be ready to come back into the theater after five or 10 minutes, or you might want to stay outside for longer. You will know the play is starting when the lights overhead grow dim and you see someone near the front of the stage with a microphone and a light on them. This person works at YPT. They will welcome the audience and talk about their job. For school performances, students will often clap and cheer when their school is mentioned. When the YPT staff member is finished speaking, they will leave the theater and the play will begin. The lights might get a little brighter on the stage and a little darker where you are sitting. These lights are to help you focus and to help you see the action of the play better. You might also hear music or sound effects. These sounds help to tell the story of the play and to help you use your imagination. You will see the lights change and hear different sounds and music during the play. While you watch the play, you will see and hear things that might make you feel happy, sad, scared, angry, or confused. Things might surprise you or make you laugh. At the end of the play, the actors will come out to the front of the stage to take a bow. The audience will applaud. This is a theater tradition. People do this to show that they enjoyed the play. When people love a show, sometimes they stand up and clap. This is a good time for you to clap and show your appreciation for the show. After the actors take a bow, the lights will become a little bit brighter. This is a time when everyone talks about the play together. Some of the actors will stay on stage and a YPT staff person will join them. They will ask the audience a question about the show. Just like at school, people will put up their hand to show that they want to respond. If you have an answer to the question, you can also put up your hand. They will point to someone with their hand up and ask for their answer. This will happen a few times. Then, they will invite the audience to ask their own questions. You might be chosen to speak, but you might not. There are a lot of people with questions and not a lot of time. Not everyone will get to share their idea. If you don't, you can save your question and ask someone who works at the theater on the way out. After the question and answer session, everyone will applaud, just like at the end of the play. Then it will be time to leave the theater. You might have to wait because it can be crowded with everyone leaving at the same time. It might also be loud like it was before the play began. You will need to try to be patient and calm. You will leave through the same doors you used on the way in. You might use the washroom before you leave. You will go down the stairs and out the front doors of the theater to return to school or home. Thank you so much for visiting. We would love to hear from you with any questions or to hear about your visit. Please come again soon.